Oil prices lower today, but higher overall. If you look at the levels, $39 a barrel as it stands. Multiple coal companies warning of major financial troubles. President Obama's solar energy project, one of the latest, may be up in smoke. The author of Green Hell, Steve Malloy, with me now. Steve, thanks very much for the time. How do you see all these pieces fitting together? Volatility in oil prices, coal really taking a hit, and the continued taxpayer investment, for lack of a better term, in green right. energy. Well, right. I mean, you know, the real surprise play here is the success of cheap natural gas. Cheap natural gas has really given legs to the Obama war on coal and has given has put coal in an existential crisis. Cheap natural gas is also preventing um, renewable energy like solar and wind from taking off, so they're still relying on subsidies. And, you know, and, and the irony then is that cheap natu natural gas is so cheap, nobody can really make any money on it. So the, you know, that industry is struggling as well. So, uh, Steve, you wrote this book, Green Hell. Can we actually sustain our energy needs just by wind, solar, and other alternative forms? Or you're saying, so far, no, and we just have to deal with it? Well, no. I mean, solar and wind and other renewables, they can, they can be a small piece of the puzzle, and maybe one day... Uh, as technology develops, they'll mature, although that hasn't really happened over the last 30, 40 years. But we're, we're awash in fossil fuels. We have so much coal, and we have so much, even more, natural gas. I mean, the supply of natural gas is basically limitless. Um, you know, and prices are going to remain low until the Obama administration or whoever is the, you know, the next administration stops slow walking uh, the export of natural gas. That's the only thing that's really going to get natural, price, natural gas prices up anytime soon. So, Steve, let me ask you, why has government investment or commitment to green energies been so fraught? I mean, President Obama, something like $2.2 .2 billion have been right. given out in clean energy loans. Right. Uh, we talked mm -hmm. a few years ago about this scandal with Solyndra. Right. Why doesn't government presence, taxpayer dollar presence in this space work? Well, because you can't fight the market. Uh, there's no market need for wind or solar. I mean, it has some useful applications, but on a utility scale, it doesn't really make sense. And you're trying to fight the market. And now we have these rock bottom uh, natural gas and coal prices. And there's no way that renewables can compete even really with federal subsidies. So. I mean, that's, that stuff is, is not ready for prime time. It never has been. Will it ever? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the good news is we are awash in, in fossil fuels, and, and that's given us all the energy security we need. Well, that is a very bright note to leave the conversation on, Steve. Thank you.